Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. In the realm of aerial warfare, the Tupolev Tu-160 and B-1 Lancer stand as iconic symbols of strategic bombing capabilities for their respective nations. Both aircraft represent formidable arsenals in the hands of their operators, boasting extensive range and payloads capable of delivering devastating blows to targets thousands of miles away. However, when it comes to determining which would prevail in a hypothetical matchup, various factors must be considered. In this video, we'll delve into the key characteristics of each aircraft and explore the potential outcomes of a theoretical encounter between the tu 106 b one Lancer. The Tupolev Tu-160 is a heavyweight strategic bomber and airborne missile platform developed by the Tupolev Design Bureau during the 1970s in the Soviet Union. It boasts supersonic speeds and features variable wings, making it the largest and heaviest combat aircraft ever constructed, as well as the fastest bomber in active service. On the other hand, the Rockwell B-1 Lancer, also known as the Bone, is a heavy bomber utilized by the United States Air Force, distinguished by its supersonic variable sweep wings. Originally conceived as a nuclear-capable bomber in the 1960s, the B-1B underwent modifications, disabling its nuclear capabilities and adapting it for conventional bombing missions. Both aircraft represent two distinct eras of strategic bomber design. Let's delve into a comprehensive comparison of these iconic aircraft. The Tu-160 is slightly longer at 54.1 meters. Compared to the B-1 Lancers, it has length of 45 meters. In terms of wingspan, the Tu-160 has a wider wingspan at 55.7 meters while the B-1 Lancer has a shorter wingspan of 42 meters. Height-wise, the Tu-160 stands taller at 13.1 meters, while the B-1 Lancer is shorter at 10 meters. The Tu-160 is powered by four Samara NK-321 afterburning turbofan engines each capable of producing 137.3 kN of thrust. While B-1 Lancers is powered by four General Electric F-101 GE-102 afterburning turbofan engines, each generating 77.4 kN thrust. The Tu-160 boasts a maximum speed of Mach 2.05, significantly faster than the B-1 Lancer it has maximum speed of Mach 1.25. The Tu-160 has an empty weight of 110,000 kg and gross weight of 267,600 kg, whereas the B-1 Lancer is lighter with an empty weight of 87,090 kg and a gross weight of 147,871 kg. TU-160s has service ceiling of approximately 52,000 feet 16,000 meters, while the B-1 Lancer has a service ceiling at 60,000 feet 18,000 meters. In terms of rate of climb, the B-1 Lancer climbs at a rate of 5,678 feet per minute 28.84 meters per second while the Tu-160 climbs at a faster rate of approximately 14,000 feet per minute, 70 meters per second. The Tu-160 has primarily been operated by the Russian Air Force and is used for strategic bombing missions. The B-1 Lancer's ability to penetrate enemy defenses at high speeds and low altitudes coupled with its long range and large payload capacity, 
makes it a formidable asset in modern warfare scenarios. It can conduct a range of missions, including interdiction, close air support, maritime patrol, and reconnaissance, contributing to both offensive and defensive operations. The Tupolev Tu-160 does not possess inherent stealth features. Like some of its Western counterparts, such as the B-2 Spirit or B-21 Raider, the Tu-160's design focuses on other aspects that contribute to its survivability and ability to penetrate hostile airspace. In recent developments, Russia has taken steps to enhance the survivability of its Tu-160 strategic bombers by applying new paint schemes possibly aimed at providing camouflage against potential threats from Ukrainian drones and missile attacks. The Tu-160M variant incorporates advanced avionics and features state-of-the-art NK-3202 engines, known for their reduced maintenance requirements. These engines not only demonstrate outstanding performance, but also offer exceptional flight capabilities and longevity. Additionally, the Tu-160M is outfitted with a range of cutting-edge weaponry, prominently including the KH-101 cruise missiles, which further bolster its offensive capabilities. Throughout its service history, the B-1 Lancer has been deployed in various conflicts and operations around the world, including Desert Storm, Operation Allied Force, and more recently, in Afghanistan, Iraq, and Syria. Its versatility, endurance, and firepower have made it a valuable asset for the U.S. military, providing crucial air support and strike capabilities in complex and dynamic environments. As part of its weapons upgrade, the B-1B bomber has been equipped with a new bomb rack unit, significantly boosting its capacity to carry 500-pound weapons by up to 60%. With this enhancement, its internal weapons bay. Moreover, the B-1B has been outfitted with a state-of-the-art integrated targeting pod, which seamlessly integrates with crucial intelligence data. Additionally, it features an upgraded navigational technology known as the Integrated Battle Station. Thanks for watching, please share your thoughts about both aircraft in the comments section.